Hello, and welcome to the video on the general overview of the data quality components for SQL Server Integration Services. My name is Joseph Vertito, a data quality analyst for Melissa Data. And this video is the first of many in a series that teaches you how to use the Melissa components for SSIS, covering basic functionality all the way to more advanced concepts and techniques. In this video, we will take a look at what the components can do understand some of the common problems in data quality, as well as how we can address these problems using our tools. Data quality is a term that should not be taken lightly. Poor data quality causes inefficiency in business processes and can prove to be costly. As Gartner mentions, many business intelligence and data warehousing ventures fail, and one of the, and one of the primary reasons for this is due to poor data quality. In order to have a successful implementation of enterprise applications like CRMs and ERPs, good data quality is essential. The data quality spectrum as defined by Gartner is divided into six categories, starting with profiling, then cleansing, parsing and standardization, matching, enrichment, and monitoring. What we at Melissa Data have accomplished is the development of custom SSIS transforms called the data quality components in order to satisfy all the areas of data quality. Let's talk about each of these components, what problems they address, and how they help us achieve overall better data quality. First, we have our profiling components. Let's talk about what some of the common problems are when it comes to data quality. First, we have inaccurate and inconsistent data. Next, we have missing information, creating gaps and holes in our data. And finally, we have duplicate records. Well, how do we even know in the first place if, if we have any of these problems? The Melissa Data Profiling Components allow us to gather crucial information about our database to help us have a better understanding of the data, identify the issues we have, where they commonly appear, and how bad the situation actually is. Some of the capabilities of the profiling components include checking for null or blank values for figuring out the holes in our data, how many unique and duplicate records there are, as well as what the common patterns are for seeing what kinds of inconsistencies we may have. The profiler can also be used to gather statistical information about our database, like which states and cities do most of the clientele reside, and it can also tell us information about how incoming data look like, such as what was the longest string on each column and what are their inferred data types, which become especially useful when moving your database from one format to another. The information gathered from the profiling components provides metadata used for creating analytics for business intelligence that help us understand what our data looks like as a whole, analyze what the problems are, and come up with a solution. Now that we have a better understanding of our data, we can now move on to cleansing, parsing, standardization, and enrichment. A big part of data quality is, well, of course, cleaning the data. And this usually involves three things. First, we want to know which entries in our database are invalid, whether, whether because they are not well formed or do not pass our requirements. Next, we want to try and intelligently correct these invalid entries. And finally, if any of the data is uncorrectable, maybe because the record was completely garbage to begin with, then we want to filter these records out of our database. When we, want, when we know that our data is clean and correct, the next thing we want to do is to make sure that our data is standardized and presented uniformly across all our databases. For example, we could have our phone numbers formatted in a certain way. We might also want our states abbreviated as opposed to having it completely spelled out. Or we might prefer full names to be separated into first and last names instead. Whatever the standardization rules we decide on, the important thing is to apply them to all our data, ensuring its integrity, reliability, and accuracy. The data quality components offer several ways of cleansing and standardizing. First is through regular expressions and standardization rules. 
cleansing and standardization through regular expressions and normalization rules give you the flexibility to correct and verify any form of data, such as phone numbers, dates, customer IDs, etc. Melissa Data also provides components that are specific and specializes on addresses, names, phones, and email correction, validation, and parsing. With the Melissa Data APIs as its driving engine and an extensive collection of reference data from several different sources, we give you the best possible results for contact verification and correction, making sure that your records are accurate, legitimate, and consistent. The components will also intelligently parse out addresses into its components, such as the street name, street number, and suffix. Names can be split up into first, last, middle, suffix, and prefix. Email addresses can be broken down into mailbox name, domain name, and top-level domain name. And phone numbers into area code, prefix, and suffix, and even the extension if available. On top of standardization, cleansing, and parsing, the data quality components also give you a variety of in enrichment information about your data. This enrichment information not only fills in the holes and gaps in your database, but also gives you even more information on the data that you already have. Some of the useful information you can get include the plus four and delivery point of an address, latitude and longitude information, residential or business address indicator, zip and address types, county and census information, carrier route, congressional district, name gender, phone number, city, state, and county location, email address, top level domain description, and so on. The next part of the data quality spectrum covers matching or record linkage. Matching is a crucial part of data quality as it allows us to associate matching records to each other allowing for the removal of existing duplicate records in your database, as well as blocking any duplicates from newly incoming records. The data quality components give us the ability to not only match exact matching records, but similar match records as well. Through the use of built-in fuzzy matching algorithms such as Jaro Winkler, Levenstein, and so on, we are able to associate non-exact matching records with each other through the similarity, similarity computations of the fuzzy matching algorithms. And because we use string matching algorithms, it is able to accommodate any data type, regardless of whether we are doing fuzzy matching on names, companies, city names, or some unique type of data. Thus, if we were to compare two records to each other through the data quality components, we can see how close these records are through a given similarity percentage. The data quality components also has a matching transform that specializes in address, name, and company matching, which are some of the more commonly used elements for associating records with each other. It's smart enough in the sense that it can recognize and associate unordered people na people's names, abbreviated company keywords, and even under unstandardized addresses. This level of intelligence within the component eliminates some of the underlying factors that contribute to the irrelevant discrepancies in fuzzy matching, which greatly improves the accuracy of record linkage. After we've done our du deduplication, the next step to complete the spectrum of data quality is to monitor our data. By definition of the word itself, monitoring is the is, is, in general is for the assurance of data quality solutions over time. Data quality is not just a one-time thing. It should be a continuous process that should be maintained for as long as we are getting new data. And for as long as we are getting new data, questions like, what kind of problems am I getting and are new ones coming up? Do the current solutions I have in place still address all my data problems? Is my data changing? Is my data getting better or is it getting worse? All of these questions continue to apply, which is why proper maintenance and monitoring of data is crucial to the success of managing your data warehouse. So, as we've seen, the spectrum of data quality covers several areas from profiling and understanding the data to cleansing, standardization, and deduplication, and all the way to monitoring and governance. And we here at Melissa Data provide you with the components 
and solutions necessary to fill in the data quality gaps that plugs directly as part of the SSIS data flow transformations that are easy to use, GUI-based, and no programming required. This video is the first of many in a series that teaches you how to use the Melissa components for SSIS in detail. If you wish to learn more, please view our other videos covering topics involving basic functionalities all the way to more advanced concepts, solutions, and techniques. If you have any questions, you can contact us at 1-800-800-6245 or email us at g-dqt at melissadata.com. Thank you.